<clears throat> All right, so weapons manufacturer. I'm not okay with that. Well, not in the traditional sense of the word. Um, for me, the difference between a weapon and a tool is what you're using it for. A weapon is specifically for killing a human being. That's a weapon. If it's made for getting dinner, whether it's a thresher or a rifle, whether you're a vegetarian or a carnivore, it's a tool. There's enough guns that I don't feel the need ever to make one. I could also make myself a semi-auto shotgun pretty easy. Use some basic hand tools and stuff that you get a lumber yard. Why? Because a shotgun shell is a standard size. An easy standard size. You don't need a choke to fire a shotgun. But, as far as this goes, I don't know the legality of it. What I do know is that this gentleman wants to use this to power a weapon for a foreign country he doesn't want to name. And at first it was for a, an RC airplane, and now it, he wants it to be an RC, but he wants it to be, well, a drone. If you guys have looked at flight tests, you guys know that some of their designs are pretty easy. If you've seen those little 3D metal puzzles that you assemble yourself, you know, some of them are like R2-D2 or the Eiffel Tower or the Great Tower of London or... You know, things like that. Same concept. Except one of them is made out of metal and one of them is made out of styrofoam. If you were to take those flight test ones, adapt the plans just a little bit so that you could make it out of uh, stainless steel instead of a sheet of styrofoam, it's a sheet of stainless steel. You could do a lot with it. I mean, literally, what this guy was asking for, it's a toy that you strap a bomb to, or strap a machine gun to. On those flight test ones, that whole area in there, on the inside, um, on the Alpha, Beta, and Charlie airplanes, you should look at those. Um, they're from an FT STEM school. These guys, these kids, made three different bodies and three different wings that are all interchangeable. <laughs> now, inside of the the cockpit portion is where the battery goes and a lot of the other internal components. And off to the two sides, you know, it kind of looks like there's a, a straight through. Well, I could literally make it so that I don't need to make the engine by making that portion of the straight throughs actually be the engine. Extend it towards the back. The little cut out where the blade goes through and spins, I just wouldn't cut that out. And I'd extend the portion on the bottom further out. You just make sure they're the proper distance to go to the end of the sound wave. And you can literally make it so that it's got a square pulse jet on the thing. So, even at its size, when you're talking about something that's got a lot more power, um, yes, you can make it the same size, have it be ten times the weight of something that's exactly the same size. But you've got an engine that's going to do over 20 times the amount of... Actually, it's more than 20 by a lot. I, I don't know if it's something that I would necessarily feel safe testing without being behind a shield. Um, just because until you've got the, the method right, you might not have everything to peak performance. Me, I don't have a lot of experience with... Uh, making moving surfaces, like on an RC airplane, so if I screwed it up just a little bit, and instead of it launching straight, it comes back around at me, that, that's not something that I'm going to like. Um, I 
I don't know if this is legal. I do know that this guy's got money. He already gave me $930. He's talking about renting me a room. And a garage so that I can build these things. I don't know how legal this is exactly. I do know that making it as a weapon, for me, is against the law. But all I'm making is the engine. The issue that I have is that this guy is wanting to give it to a foreign power. And even though he says he's not a warmonger, he's wanting to give it to a military. I don't know if this military is our allies or our enemies. What I do know is if there's a potential for this thing getting fired at American soldiers, that should be looked into. If the United States military looks into this situation and decides that this does pose a real threat, then they can have my plans. They can have my prototypes. I'm against the military, and I am not down with our government at all, because I love the Constitution. We need it back. But at the same time, just because I don't like our military and I don't like our government doesn't mean I don't love our soldiers. They're human beings, same as we are. And I know some of them soldiers. And you know what? If there's going to be a fight between somebody I love and somebody I don't know, I want the person I love to come out on top. Yes, that is selfish. I agree. However, you guys do what you want. Um, I tried to get his first and last name both on there. Um, I met him through YouTube, uh, a guy who makes pulse jets by the main name of Maddox, M-A-D-D-O-X. Um, I was trying to send him my blueprints for free, and this other gentleman offered me money to, to make it. I was pretty well set on prisoner suicide at that point, so... Yeah, um, I don't want to give this shit to uh, our military because I'm nationalistic and give it to them because there are people I love very much who are in the military.